What's up folks, Deltron Live here. So I'm gonna be starting a new StarCraft II custom campaign. This is Time Convergence, created by Vastin X. So this is the first mission, the prologue mission, the Titan Choice. After an invasion of Ire, the protest chose a young Templar as a new hierarch. But in this time of need, the help of a higher power to ensure victory is necessary. To achieve this new leader, the leader needs to talk to the Oracle and get the blessing. The prophecy says that you need to pay the price of death to your, of your friends, your family, and your enemies. So a couple things before I get started. Avastin X is from Chile, so English is, his, is, is not his first language. Obviously Spanish is. So just keep that in mind when, um, as I'm reading the dialogue and transmissions. But So I'll try to correct some grammar, but it's really not that big a deal. Um, and also, another thing I wanted to mention is that I've noticed I've been getting more viewers on maps. However, I, I still want you guys, <laughs> I'm not saying you have to, but if you guys don't be scared or hesitant to leave feedback in the comments for the map maker, don't be hesitant to play these for yourself. They're a lot of fun, a lot of these custom campaigns. Um, you know, the map makers put a lot, a lot of work into these. Most custom campaigns are created by one person. So if you guys have any feedback, positive or negative, just make it make sure it's constructive. Just put it in the comments. A lot of map makers watch these videos and they'll reply directly to you. You can talk pretty much directly to them. I'll reply as often as possible, which is usually, I would say 75% of the time to most comments. And yeah, just leave feedback. It's, it, it's really helpful what you like, what you don't like. Uh, it could be about the terrain, what they could improve, the story, whatever. Any suggestions, whatever you guys want, go ahead and put it in the comments. Okay, always have a good defense in your base. We shall try. Let's get started. I appreciate your help in this mission, Uncle Mathos. I wish my father were more like you. Do not say that, nephew. Your father was born to be a leader, and I was born to be a zealot. I guess you're right. Eh, the grammar is pretty good, but I'm surprised. That's the stubborn stubbornness asked me for help. I always thought he hated me since I chose. He loves you, but he will never tell you that. Haha, <laughs> typical of my little brother. You regret it? No, it was, it was a life I wanted, and I enjoyed it while I could. I see. Well, what, you can, what can you tell me about this place? I fought here in my youth when my grandfather, Arthos, wanted to be blessed by the Oracle. Why did he fail? Because he made a bad decision. The Titan asked what he could offer. He said a fight. The Titan accepted and asked him. What do you want? Who do you want as your opponent? Whoever you want it to be. Understood. Your opponent. Althos, my son. Fight. Well, that's depressing. Force you to fight your own son. What we saw was my dead uncle Blade piercing her his father's broken heart. By the gods. This place is cursed to the core, but we have to fight and pay the price. Friends, family, and enemies. What if we take the portal by force? We have no time for prophecies. Anyone who touches the entrance without paying the price must die. Cursed rules, so it has to be then. I'm ready to fight. That's the hardest part. Who wants a blessing cannot fight. What? That's why your father called me. I have to watch my people die and do nothing. It's interesting that Artanis is a preserver model, like the old times, sadly. Okay, well, we're getting right into it. Artanis and Mathos must survive. Kill your friends, family, and enemies. Well, that is surely depressing. Okay, let's check this out. Mathos, after 
After he lived with a Taldarim for many years, oh, he did live with a Taldarim for many years. Mathos has height, Templar and Taldarim skills. So Mathos is called the Tower because of his height. And he was pretty tall. Mathos is the older brother of the father of Artanis. For reasons unknown, even to his family, he decided to fight for the Taldarim, granting him the nickname the Cursed Tower. After many years of absence, absence, he returns for a second chance for decisions, and he was forgiven. But as penance, he would, he would have to use a black, his black armor. He could not have children, and until the end of the days, he would be nothing more than a zealot. Now, being the only survivor of the Titan, his brother asked to help his nephew to fulfill his destiny. Okay, so we have some background on Mathos. We have an obelisk to help Artanis in this mission. The face mists develop our obelisks. These structures accelerate the construction of any upgrade or unit for as long as needed. Pretty sweet. Let's get started. So we have a chrono beam here. It's unlimited. Okay, so it's the legacy of the void. So we have Mathos. Artanis is neutral. Let's see what he's got. Uh, first things first, let's... We have a ton of money. Okay. Uh, the Titan is sending his guardian. We must protect ourselves. So we got lightning dash, sonic orb, astral winds. All these abilities are going to be great. Just keep making probes. So I notice when you build stuff. Okay, just heal up. Yeah, he can he can do this pretty much himself. There we go. It's astral winds. And just heal up. Yeah, you're you're good. You're good to go, Mathos. And Artanis doesn't do any attacks or anything. Okay, let's get, get some guys a gas. We have so many minerals here. Just keep keep getting lots of probes. What are these? Oh, unpowered. So we definitely want to power these guys. We can power both of these. Don't have a lot of space in our base. You want to keep be mindful of that. Okay, no warp gate, so that'll be interesting. So right now I'm just trying to get everything set up. Let's get all of our tech structures: Templar Archive, Robotics Bay. Put that right here. Forge. Let's get three forges. We can get our upgrades. What do these things do? Obelisk, Chrono Beast. Chrono. Okay, so we both basically have, what, four plus five Chrono Boosts that we can use? Is there anything up here? So we just have to kill everything, it seems like. <laughs> so I guess when you get uh, become a new hierarch, you have um, to speak with this Oracle Titan, and they make you kill family members. That's what I'm getting from this, so... Pretty in interesting plot. Uh, we have High Templar. I think High Templar. I'm gonna have to hotkey these. Yeah. Okay. Start getting High Templar. Robotics Reavers will probably be wonderful. So we can just do this, right? And then we'll hotkey this as well. Let's get that Robotics Bay. Okay. Let's use your abilities, Mathos. Yeah, he can he can do this by himself, no problem. So as long as I pay attention when they attack, I should have no no problem with these attack waves. No reason to waste. So we can get Archons. Definitely want to get Sonic Storm. Just keep getting probes as well. 54 probes. <laughs> That's that's fantastic. You require more, Vespin gas. more gas, yeah, gas is gonna be the issue. I kind of want to push, just push out with a zealot and see what we're dealing with here. I'm gonna save. So they will attack us. I'm not sure if those attacks will be similar. There's green fire here. Let's go left, I guess. It's also a gate. Uh, that's scary. Alright, lots of marines. 
Lots and lots of Marines. Keep getting probes. Alright, right, let's get some Reavers. I'm just trying to scout and see what we're up against and if there's another base to take, maybe. Okay, there's another gate here. We can't go there, so it looks like we're gonna have to go to the left first. So just go back to base. Oh yeah, gas is gonna be an issue. I might as well, I might just put four. I'm not sure how, f sometimes, I mean in StarCraft and vanilla StarCraft 2 Blizzard campaigns, I mean it's always gonna be three probes on gas. But in these custom campaigns, you never know how far they put them away or you know, this mineral field is definitely not what you would see in a um, StarCraft 2 Blizzard map. It's more something you would see in StarCraft 1 or, or Brood, War. Brood War. Okay, we can get Stalkers. More gas, too. Might as well start pushing out, though. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be the same attack waves over and over again. I'm not sure if there's any more of these or not. Yeah, that stun ability is really good. Alright, pylons. Make a little pylon farm over here. And once we mine out minerals, we can get even more. So it's all going to be about that. Uh, can we build up here? No. Maybe allow this to be buildable. And like I was saying, if you guys see any... Anything that could be changed or adjusted at all, just uh, definitely do not hesitate to, uh, to say anything. Don't be shy. Okay, I'm just getting a bunch of gateways. So we're going to have a crap ton of minerals. As we slowly mine out this base. So I think I've built everything I could possibly build. Just get, pump out some zealots, I guess. And then we'll start moving and attacking into this, what looks like it's going to be a massive base. But who knows? Whenever you're starting out a new campaign, it's very hard to judge the, the difficulty. So far, it's not too bad. But this is the first mission, prologue mission. I think the High Templar are going to be key. Might just want to build more High Templar. But we have like... We don't have much uh, minerals. Alright, Mathos. A bold plan. I'm gonna throw down some shield batteries, just in case. You can build Kadaren Monoliths as well. Some of the probes are getting a little stuck. Alright, just kill all these guys. Yeah, you want to go for the Zelnaga crystals first. Take those out, and then you can deal with the rest of the stuff. The stone zealots pretty easily. So they say he's just a zealot. Uh, he's a very tall, very big zealot, and a very powerful as well. And it's pretty neat. He has like Artanis' abilities with um, you know psionic orb, which we would see with the uh, the ascendants. Alright, just zealots. <laughs> A crap ton of zealots. Okay. Getting some upgrades. Alright, let's actually... Well, let's build the shield batteries I was talking about. We'll get a few cannons as well. There we go. That's fine. Let's go. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I'll quick save.
Remember, do not go near the wall of fire. Okay, that's we good to know. Prevail. I don't think they ever told us not to go near the wall of fire, but... Alright, let's just storm these guys. It does do damage. Defend the city, boys. With the Reavers. What? Why? Why the friend Jim Rayner is here, and why are there so many? The first part of the test. Kill your friends. It's not very nice. Oh, there's siege tanks as well. Can Reavers outrange siege tanks? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're back. Um, I just had someone knock on my door. Alright, we gotta get back. Let's just get in there. Yeah, we need to build cannons here. Why aren't they attacking? Oh, these are air. Very interesting. Those, no, are they air? I actually don't know. Anyways. Build cannons around these guys. That should be more than enough. Let's get those upgrades. More. Just a lot of reavers. Really? Okay, let's actually. Alright, let's do this. Everyone, hold your horses. We have two Reavers, that's it? All right, let's see what these guys can do. Then Mathos, we need to hockey. The future buddy. is ours. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Mathos with Reaver support. Sonic Orb. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Benefit resurgence once every 60 seconds. It doesn't show that he has resurgence, so maybe just add that. That's great though, I was like, shit, I'm dead. Alright, that's a lot of tanks. Let's just get right on them. Siege. We kill this one. And run. Cool. More Reavers. Alright, Reavers and Mathos. There's a lot of stuff here. We just need more Reavers. Okay, they definitely cannot outrage. Outrange tanks. Alright, base is under attack. This is fine. We just need more shield batteries. The stone zealots don't really do that much damage at all. This is this is perfect. Upgrade complete. Okay. Alright, Mathos. Just jump right on top of the siege tanks. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in wasting other units. We can just do this just with Mathos. Okay. This is going to be tough going up here, though. We have no air units whatsoever. Alright, pylons. We can build some down here. Let's move this Chrono. Can we not... Chrono, the robotics bay? That's weird. Maybe because it's supply blocked? Very strange. I've never. That might be a bug. I'm not. I'm not really sure what's going on. Let's just hockey all these guys, I guess. Okay, we have all of our upgrades. All right, let's see if we can do it now. Yeah. So for some reason, if it's supply blocked, you can't chrono it. This is fine. You learn something new every day. Dawn will come. Alright, we really just... This is going to be challenging, but I don't really know what else to do. Our 
path is clear. We gotta just get on top of this. Shit. It's Jax's revenge as well. There can be no we don't have a lot of anti-air. Alright, we gotta get in there. We need some stalkers, actually. Oh shit, there's so much stuff here. Oh my god. <laughs> back up, back up. Don't throw your life away, guys. Alright, force them down here. Did you see all that stuff? And then there's these... Um, Constructs that are doing a lot of damage to us as well. Where did these guys come from? Okay. They're chasing us. Yeah, that's gonna be the problem. They're gonna get cut out a bunch. Okay. Well then. Let's just get everything we can. Yeah, that's not a problem. Maybe decrease the amount of units. <laughs> it's a little, a little crazy. Alright, you can't. Can you even reach over there, buddy? I don't think so. Just build some over here. That's fine. We just need lots of stalkers. Try to do something. I guess. Hopefully the other bases aren't this crazy. Yeah, there's just so much siege tanks and... Alright, we kill some, I guess. Let's get this guy. Then get out of here. Well, that's going to draw a lot of aggression. We could just blast through them. Sinek Orb. Sonic Orb. Okay. Well, we did some. We can just keep doing this. More gas. Hopefully there's a base up here we can take. Yeah, that Sonic Orb is going to be really, really nice. Okay, we're out of energy. Yeah, that's just on a cooldown, so... Only Sinek Orb uses energy, which is fine. Alright, yeah, we need uh, We might be in slight trouble if there's no base up here. And look how much damage those things, constructs do. Holy shit. We're definitely gonna need Reavers. Alright, Zealots. Back up. Back up, Zealots. You're no match to the zone stone zealots. As much as you would like. Alright, let's see what we can do. Our minerals are running out as well. I want to draw these guys down so bad. Without getting <laughs> Okay, we gotta we gotta push up this ramp. Luckily Mathos can attack air. There we go. Stupid Marines. How many of them are there? It's a cool idea you have this massive base, but maybe a little too much, I would say. Let's just pull these guys towards us. Okay, so they take those constructs, take a second or two to ramp up. Yeah, we gotta be doing this with the reverse. This is. With honor. It looks like they focused down one enemy. So I'm gonna save. And let's do this. We're gonna sacrifice some zealots. A lot of zealots. <laughs> I guess. Zealots. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, they just go down so fast. So fast. Everything just I serve my goes, okay. We're also going to take these probes and start building pylons 
in anticipation for taking this base. And then they will be up here ready to go. Okay. Let's try this. Some of you guys, we don't need all of you guys to die. Alright. Alright, Reavers. Squirm your way. Zealots, go. Your job is to keep these things alive. Okay, there's... Yeah, I think this is what we need to do. Uh, don't target my Reavers, please. Oh, we can outrange these? That doesn't seem right. Alright, we gotta get in here with everyone. Alright, heal up. Yeah, we just need to run. Kill this as soon as possible. Okay, awesome. The first part is complete. Come back to the base quickly. What's going on? Our soldiers have betrayed us. Uh-oh. What? I'm on my way. That's not good. What happened? He returned. Who? Kill your family. So now fighting Protoss looks like? Defend Antioch. For the Conclave. For Ayer. It's Phoenix. Phoenix, what are you doing, buddy? He still tries to defend Antioch, our soldiers. This is a very, like, dreamlike sequence mission. Nobody wants to fight him. Very surreal feeling. Have we lost? Not while we... Not while we are alive, young fool. From the shadows we come. Alright, Dark Templar. We only need to build cannons. Oh! Unless those are our Dark Templar. Dark Templars? Indeed. So now we have Zaz on our side. Behind us. Who are you? <laughs> Took them a while. My name is Zaz, humble servant of the matriarch. Why are you here? Because her wisdom knows no bounds. Did Zaz just change colors in the middle of the cutscene? She sent us because she knew that those, sorry. Do not insult my people, you traitor. Traitor, and yet I'm the one who brings soldiers to your aid. Are you the one that they call the Cursed Tower? Yes, my name is Mathos. Have you killed my people? Yes. And yet you are a traitor. Yes. Fame, power, revenge? None. She must be very special to you. She was... How did you know? What other reason could it be? Yeah, it's not fame, power, money, it's... I mean, it's women. Very good, the Cursed Tower. My brothers will fight by your side, but when this is over, I will go. Why did you tell my uncle and not me? Because seeing him, it is not disappointing. Artanis. Go, uncle. I need to be alone. So now we have Zaz. It's cool. New units. Phoenix presence on the battlefield has made the Templars abandon the fight. The arrival of Zaz brought new troops to aid us. Stalker, Centurion, Dark Templar. Sweet. Zaz is one of the most loyal sons of Raz. Razagal. 
Being only his student, he respects any order, she says, even at the cost of his own life. I bring wisdom. All right, well, first of all, there's a crap ton of minerals here, and we need to get this going right away. This is the weirdest <laughs> base <laughs> I've ever seen. You Nerezim cannot become Archons? We can. But why you not? Unlike you Templar, we appreciate the lives of our soldiers. And why is not worth doing now? Because you are not worthy of that sacrifice. Okay. Just build more stuff here, just in case they start attacking us. We got a crap ton of probes. Let's build some shield batteries here. Wherever we can. This is fine. It's not going to be pretty, I'll tell you that right now. You probe, just cool your horses. No need to rush. Okay, we got everything set up. We should have plenty of probes here. Once this finishes, you guys go on gas. Just return it there. Return it here, please. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, two more probes. Some probes over here. I like the mineral placement. It's definitely more StarCraft 1, which this campaign takes place in. Brood War, whatever. Okay. Now we got our minerals going. Probably want to be building pylons here and here, and then we can get more, even more gateways and uh, robotic space. Yeah. Just pylons everywhere. So I'm guessing now we're going to be fighting. Oh, we got these guys. And they have Shadow Fury. How nice. Alright, you guys come up here. So I like the story, um, the grammar is fine. I mean, there's little things here and there that, how the grammar could be improved, but it really is not that big a deal. We're gonna build so many gateways, guys. Let's build a dark shrine. And then a, uh, what do we want? Robotic space. Okay get back to mining where are all these idle probes that's fine you guys stay here we might need to build more stuff you guys definitely need to start moving your they don't really have butts do they they kind of have like a pointy stick okay you have blink void armor shadow blade and I'm guessing you have to survive too yes so we're doing this all for Atanas so he can become the Hierarch. And he's permanently cloaked, but he's definitely not cloaked, so... I guess make him cloaked or remove that tooltip. I mean, he's basically, uh... Zeratul, right? Just an uncloaked version. Okay. Let's build a, some Centurions. This is pretty cool, though. We have regular Zealots. We're gonna have Centurions soon more reavers I say let's get moving we'll be wanting a quick save to the day often uh, let's build Kadaran monolith why not <laughs> some shield batteries to support okay Mathos oh he was all the way in the back because he was talking to Artanis do not walk in the fire. My allegiance is yours. We well, have centurions. So we basically got upgraded zealots now. So I'm just curious. Let's save and see what what happens. Okay, so you, you just die automatically. That's fine. As long as our heroes aren't going in there. It really is fine. Oh, we are completely, uh... My burdens you guys, be careful now. Unadar. Yeah, be careful, please. Ever. 
This guy is completely stuck. Let's put the hockeys out here. We shall I walk the shadowed path. Oh shit, that's a the lot of cannons. Is ours. Well, that's why we have a lot of Reavers that can destroy this. Alright, you two. Just huck to you guys both for one. Make it a little easier. Alright, Reavers, keep squirming your way. So you gotta, you gotta take these bases slowly. No idea what is up this ramp. A lot of zealots. Let's try to do this. Just with our, our heroes. Okay, this is going just fine. That one just fine. Do I? Ha oh, it's only one enemy unit. So, all right, void armor. Okay, we're dead. Let's load. <laughs> Went well until um, those things. So we have these constructs that are gonna do crazy damage to us. Okay, let's, let's do this again. Void armor. Back up so they can't get us around on us. There we go. Do your fancy blade spinning thing. Okay, Reavers, hold position. Let's just cool our horses here. Alright. We cannot get stunned. I said hold. Hold position. Come on. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Please, stop. Okay. Alright. You everyone, just hold position. We'll back them up into you. No need to worry. Change is upon us. There can be no doubt. Okay, we have these constructs. The future is ours. Just want to pull out any zealots, really, or dragoons. I mean, we have so much money though; it does not really matter. And then, I mean, playing like this is gonna take forever, right? We just we just need to move. You guys actually stay in the back. Alright, Zoss, you stay in the back. Everyone else, just go. Avoid that as best you can. And then Mathos will do his thing, keeping everything alive. Just stun them. Keep moving guys, we gotta, we gotta get rid of all this stuff. And there's even another base for us to take here. Alright, let's get some support. And then, we can just build a lot of zealots with their extra resources. Alright, one, one left. Sweet! We finished with the second test. So I'm guessing the third one will be Zerg. What's going on? Uh oh, that's not good. The Zerg are attacking us. Oh, well I built some defense up there. We're gonna have to build more. Silent stupid, stupid child is the third test. 
kill your enemy. The Zerg. Your friends, your family, and your enemy. You address me. They are invulnerable. Finish the last test quickly. Oh, great. Alright, cannons everywhere. Just everywhere you can before creep, creep covers everything. How are we looking over here? We have spilled even more cannons. We have so much money. Alright, these are gonna take forever. Cancel that, please. Oh shit! Where'd these guys come from? This is gonna be non stop, isn't it? Who died? Both of our heroes, it looks like. <laughs> okay. So that's gonna happen. Are those aberrations non stop too? Because that would be a pain. Well, now that we know that, we can actually prepare ourselves. Let's go pile on here, here. It's interesting, some of these places we can't build anything. So we're going to have to do this again. Okay, we got pylon setups in a lot of places. Uh, you guys rally there. Just cannons everywhere. We're going to want to send some probes here as well so we can set up uh, minerals here as well. Yeah, and this is what's going to happen. Okay, just cannons. Shield batteries. Cannons. Okay. Save. Yeah, that was that was rough, especially since you can't kill them, so it's like a timed until you have to kill the Zerg. That's uh Cause that's just a lot of stuff. I don't know if we can <laughs> defeat a huge Zerg base in the time that it'll take to complete that, so. Alright, we're just gonna run with everything we have. And then just do it like what we did last time. Use Mathos to stun. The stun lasts forever. Okay, we can get Zasa here to help. I'm gonna save here. Just do what you can, buddy. Before we kill them, we don't wanna... Zas, shit. Zas is so squishy though. Okay. I'm playing really poorly. I'm just, I guess I'm just rushing through this. Okay, Zas, you stay back. Everyone else, get in there. We really don't not, do not need Zas for this. He's gonna do more harm than good. All right, now I think we can get in there with Zas. There's only one left. Let's back up. Everyone, back up. Yeah, stasis lasts forever. Okay. I bring wisdom. You address. We can kill this, these units up here. Start building lots of dark. I think Dark Templar are going to be the way to go, honestly. With Shadow Fury against the Zerg. Okay. Cannons wherever you can. I 
Let's build. I'm actually running low on minerals. <laughs> Look at this. I guess we can build a base right here when it's when it's complete. I just want to build some cannons up here, really. Okay, that's fine. Shield batteries. Okay. I don't think we're gonna do much, much better than that. Okay, let's take this thing out. Avoid the stun. It doesn't do that much damage, it's just the stun that really messes you up. We finished the second test. These cannons should finish on time. What's going on? I'm gonna quick save right away. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait. This could be a mistake. The Zerg are attacking us. I'm not sure if we can skip this or not. St Silent stupid child. It's a third test. Kill your friends. Or your enemy, sorry. <laughs> Kill your enemy. That poor centurion that's stuck. They are vulnerable invulnerable. Finish the last test quickly. Alright, we're yeah, we're gonna save. Okay, so they do spawn aberrations. Should be interesting. The prophecy God. Are you guys stuck? We want to consolidate in the middle here. Oh no, we want to go up here. Sorry. Alright, build a nexus in this madness. And we're going to just keep mining here. I think we're good here. Oh, Dark Templar are going to be our savior. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are actually looking quite good. And these are just Zerglings, so we should be just fine. This part could very well be in trouble. What we can do is build... Uh, Oh, these simulators are so far away. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. I think maybe this section just have Zerglings. Like, if you're not prepared, these aberrations will destroy you. Or have fewer aberrations spawn. Right, we really gotta take what we have here. And build, I guess, a couple gateways here. That we can rally. Okay, we're going to be hearing that oh, constantly. <laughs> but that's okay. I thought I was a little probe there. Alright, we're set up pretty well here. Yeah, we're just fine. We could... Let's send a few Dark Templar. Up there. Let's get... Even more gateways, two more gateways. The robotics. Oh, not, not right in the uh, path of our minerals. There we go. All these probes are going to be sent here. You guys five, just rally here. You'll be five as well. Actually, let's change these to six. Because all the other ones we're going to be leaving at home. Okay. Save. Let's go kill some Zerg, I guess. Probe, you don't need to come with us. And let's finish this, guys. Hopefully. My
Lots of Ultralis. A lot of Ultralis. Just stun them. Oh shit. Spine crawlers. Reavers, you're up. And apparently Dark Templar too. We'll send a few. How are we looking? Just fine, I would say. And then just reinforce with Dark Templar and Reavers. More gas. How are we looking up here? Fine. Alright, let's get in here. Uh-oh. So what do we have here? More constructs. That is fine, except they... Let's just run in with our units and see what we can do. And... Oh, we really gotta get in there. Alright, we can heal. Alright, just move. Alright, he's focusing Mathos, that's not good. Alright, get in there, guys. Okay. Two down, it's looking not bad, not bad. Not, not that bad, guys. These guys got in there. Good. Yeah, hit Mathos. That's fine. He can heal himself. Alright, you guys get in here too. Dark Templar, get in there. Heal up. Can't stun these things. Actually, can you? I'm not sure. Try it on another one. Lots of Hydralis. This mission is, is nuts. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way, I think. <laughs> I'm not done with it, so... Can't say entirely for sure yet. Alright, Reavers. You got this. Alright, get in there. Zoss, you get in here too. Mostly those uh, Zerg spawning. Yeah, I would say just fewer aberrations. Because if you don't have a lot of Dark Templar out or you're not prepared, you, it's just, yeah, I can see that getting a little annoying. Alright, Zoss, you're gonna back up. Hey, you guys rally up here, please. Okay, more crap. A lot of stuff. Stay on the, the ramp. Stun as many as you can. Alright, get down there. Mathos can take the heat. I want to see. Okay, if this stuns. I think he was stunned. Stunned, yeah. Did not know you could stun these constructs. This should be the last one. It's done. Artanis, meet me in front of the wall of green fire. I like how it's just referred to the wall of green fire. Oh, they're reaching my base. We have the Dark Templar. Thank you very much for your help, Zaz. As we agreed, all you and your troops can leave. Well, we're still being attacked by this. They're very good, Mathos. The Cursed Tower. I hope that th this nephew of yours is worth the lives that were lost today. I hope so too, Artanis. You better, better, better measure up. We can go now. Thought, thought, thought. That'd be funny if they just ran through the fire and died. The mission ended. <laughs> Are you afraid? I'm afraid of making the wrong choice. You will not fail. You will see the oracle. And they do just walk through the fire. Greetings, mighty titan. Another. 
Another who has to decide. Choose, do you want to give me something or take away something? How can I give you something if I do not know what you have? Choose, do you want to give me something or take away something from me? Give him something, Artanis. I do not think anyone can take something from him. I want to give you something. Are they going to make us fight? Give me something. He wants to give it to me or want, to, want me to take it. I... Um, take whatever you want. Anything. Whatever I want. Understood. What are you doing, Artemis? <sighs> Uncle Mathos. Artanis, you idiot. It's done. Why did you kill him? Because you're, you're stupid. <laughs> By your decisions, he was killed. You decided that I could take anything. Your decision... Okay. So some of the dialogue goes a little fast. You can pass now. <laughs> Poor Mathos. I hope to never see you again. You will not. Forgive me, uncle. Your death will not be in vain. Wow, that ending. <laughs> Artanis is not off to a good start as the new Hierarch. He basically just was not able to do anything in that mission. Because he... Yeah, he's, he's stood in our base and then his first decision was... Just take anything. <laughs> Choose or take anything. Oh, you can take anything. Knowing that... Um, his ancestors were... Uh, or Mathos. I forget who the... Althos? Whoever that guy, his son had to kill uh, Althos. So... Obviously, the Titan is not a good person. Artanis should be smarter. Well, anyways, this was fun. A couple suggestions. Uh, so the Nidus Worms, just reduce the number of aberrations. The Zerglings are fine to deal with. Um, just, I mean, just Zerglings are fine. You can get enough Dark Templar adjust to that. Um, maybe reduce the number of enemy units in each space a little bit. It kind of became like a, a drag, but I do like I do like the premise of the mission, and you have to fight through the constructs, and this is a very surreal, dreamlike feel of it almost. But, anyways, this has been Deltron Live. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments for the map maker in the comment section down below the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. All right, take it easy.